In this video, we're going to show you how to add some electricity and lightning effects to your videos, just like this. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Filmstock YouTube channel. We are Chris and Christina, and together with Filmstock, we're here to help you make better videos and empower your inner video creator. With the new Blockbuster electricity pack from Filmstock, you can very easily add some electricity or lightning effects to your videos. We've put together a few examples of how you could use this pack, but before we show you them, make sure you are subscribed to the channel by hitting the subscribe button down below. Okay, let's jump into Filmora 11 and we'll show you how to add the effects. Okay, so just before we get into it, you will obviously need to download the Blockbuster Electricity Pack, which you can get from the Filmstock website. The link for that is in the description. Once you have it downloaded, if you click on Elements and then scroll down on the left to see Filmstock, you will see all the effects from the Blockbuster Electricity Pack right here. For this first example, I'm going to use a few of the lightning effects. Quite cool, very realistic looking. I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to drag it above my clip, which is a time lapse of the city street at night, which I think will work very well for the lightning strikes. So once I place it above my clip, I just need to resize it. So I'm going to try and place it in between the buildings at the top without overlapping the light so this might require some cropping as well just for it to look right so i'm going to place it there and then i'm going to go to effects and crop i'm going to drag the crop onto the lightning effect double click and then if i go to effect i have my crop options and i don't want the lightning to overlap the buildings on the left hand side so I'm just going to drag the crop all the way over, just about there looks good, and then I'm going to click Blur Edges. I'm actually going to drag that back a little bit more. There, I think that looks pretty good. Now it looks like it's coming from behind the building, so if I play through it, that's one very realistic looking lightning strike. I could also change the colour grade a little bit on the cityscape, just to make it look a little bit moodier, maybe something like dark film that looks extremely moody and now with the lightning yeah I think that looks better definitely adds some mood to the scene and you might want to add another one in a few seconds later just to add even more dramatic effect to it so I've chose this one which is a little bit bigger something like that and once again I'm gonna have to use the crop tool okay so this time I'm gonna drag from the right so that it doesn't overlap the light or this building there looks good and again i'm going to blur the edge let's see what that looks like yeah that looks pretty good so for this next example we have a girl plugging in her electric car to charge and i thought this example with the electric sort of beam might work well for this so let's drag it on top and i'm going to use some keyframing so I'm going to make it look like the electric is coming out of the little plug that she's plugging into the back of the car. So what we're going to have to do is drag this effect right back to the start of the clip because she's holding the plug right at the start. I'm also going to need to adjust the speed of this clip because it doesn't last long enough. So if I bring it down to about 60 that's almost long enough. As long as it lasts until she plugs it into the car, then you won't see it anymore. That should probably work, actually. Maybe a little bit slower. And then I'm going to go back to the start, and I'm going to start my keyframing. So I'm going to rotate the effect and line this up before I start. That looks pretty good. I'm going to line it up right with the end of the gun so it looks quite realistic. Something around there. And then what I need to do is go through each frame and make sure that this stays in line with the plug that she's holding.
and once you've finished all your keyframing you should end up with something like this. I've also added a different lot onto the clip just to make it match the electricity effect a little bit more. So this is the final result for that one. And it disappears as she plugs it into the car. So all I did was scale it down towards the end just so that it almost disappears as she plugs it into the car. Which I think works. And for the last example we've got some more lightning, this time slightly different than the first one. So we've got a beam of lightning from the left, a beam from the right, and then I done them at the same time just to add a bit more of a dramatic effect to it. And that just works the same as I showed you the first time. So drag the lightning beams on, resize them if you need to do any cropping so it doesn't overlap anything. This wasn't the case with this one, it worked quite easy. All I did was drag the lightning into the top left, that works for that one, and for the right one I just dragged it in a little bit smaller just so there it looks like there's a little bit of depth, and I lowered the opacity on it a little bit as well just so they have a little bit of separation between the two different lightning strikes. I think it looks pretty good. And it's just as easy as that, that's just a few examples of how you can use the effects, but feel free to get as creative as you want with it. Remember that you will need to download the pack from Filmstock and you will need Filmora 11 so the links for those will be in the description. But most importantly, keep creating and we'll see you in the next one. Good nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice.